Today's video does have a $20 giveaway, so if you want a chance at winning that, then all you have to do is comment your in-game name in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to play Aragon, then click on the link in the description that sends you to their Discord. And once you join a Discord, you can just go to the download section and download the client from there. A quick shout out to Tiger for winning the last episode's giveaway. Make sure to message me in game or through Discord in order to claim your prize. Alright, so I haven't really logged into this account in a little while because I had two brawler episodes that I did and I also took two days off because I was a bit sick and I'm still a little bit sick. Maybe you can hear it in my voice, but I don't know why. I'm getting sick a lot lately. But I do have six achievement points here to claim and ten daily loot keys and I'm not exactly sure where they came from. And that is just because the weekly task and daily task all reset. So I got this a couple days ago and I didn't realize I got it, but uh, uh, yeah, I got it from somewhere somehow, but I'm not sure how. But regardless, let's just go ahead and claim this to my inventory, and this should put me above 20 achievement points. Yeah, I have 18 right now, so this will put me at well above 20 achievement points. So I can actually go on over here and upgrade my Fortunate Brother perk to tier 2 out of 4, and this will make it so that I get 3 bearers pieces from the chest instead of 2. And also, I'm pretty sure if I kill a superior brother, I will get 4 items from the chest, and that'll just give me a much better chance at getting it the Amulet of the Damned. It'll give me an extra roll every single time I loot a chest so it should speed things up a bit and for the daily loot keys maybe I get a really lucky item Ooh, okay devout boots and an ancient wyvern shield I'll take it that's definitely something that I'll probably end up using this actually gives me a huge magic boost instead of having 96 magic attack bonus I'm gonna have 111 that is massive right there and my defense goes up a lot too so if I'm doing any sort of bossing with magic I can use this in the future and that's a really nice pickup right there the devout boots don't give me any sort of attack or damage bonuses but it does give me an extra plus five prayer and since I'm only doing barrows right now and I don't need anything besides prayer I'm gonna start using these instead of my wizard boots or I guess my mystic boots is what they're called but anyways that's a nice upgrade too so now I got a little bit of fashion escape with the devout boots along with some prayer bonuses and a really nice dps booster and also defense booster with the ancient wyvern shield definitely a nice little key opening there really happy with that and I was actually just about to hop straight back into barrows but I realized that I don't have augury unlocked and I should probably do that I only need three prayer levels in order to get there so I can either use some xp lamps or find some bones or something and get up to 77 that, that way I can boost up my magic attacks a little bit while doing this Barrow's Grind. And I don't know why I didn't do this earlier because Augury is a really good boost for your magic DPS and I just never unlocked it. So we're going to do that really quickly. I'm only going to get a few bones because it shouldn't take too much to get up to 77 prayer. It's only three levels for me. Also just completed an achievement so I should get a few bones from that and a few achievement points. Oh yeah, 20 dragon bones. I'm out of here. Let's go baby. Two kills and I'm done. And there is 77. So we're going back to Barrow's. I'm going to be able to use a little bit of a better prayer while there and I also have my fortunate brother perk upgraded so things are looking good I should hopefully get the amulet of the damned today I'm gonna be doing like six or seven hours so if I can't get an amulet of the damned within that time frame I might just give up and end the series because that would be ridiculous okay first chest of the day let's get the amulet spoon to me nice and easy so I can move on with some other stuff all right Mm, that's not good. I'll probably show you like every 10th chest, but until then, I'm just gonna grind away. Of course, I would like to get the amulet as soon as possible, but if I don't, then I'm just gonna get a bunch of extra Barrow's gear and I can make even more dust, which means I'll have a lot more upgrade tokens to work with. I think I'm gonna save my loyalty points for these scrolls. I'm at 184 right now, so I'm just gonna try to stay online and continue doing Barrow's while it's the minigame spotlight. And I should be able to rack up plenty of scrolls and upgrade tokens by the time I start needing to do actual upgrades. I don't think that's going to happen for a while though. I think I'm going to be sticking with like kind of like my default setup for a good while. But yeah, once I get to that point where I'm doing upgrades consistently, I'll probably have plenty of points for scrolls and also upgrade tokens. Oh yeah, and I also forgot like the most underrated thing about doing barrows on an Iron Man on this server specifically is that you get a lot of herbs. So not only am I getting a lot of barrows drops to turn into dust and to get tokens, but I'm also getting a bunch of herb lore supplies. So I'll be able to make any potion I want. I mean, I'll level up my herb lore from 33 to 99 in absolutely no time and I'll be able to make overloads pretty quickly. I mean of course I just need the secondaries for it but I think I can buy those from a shop. I'm not too sure maybe I can't since I'm an Iron Man but I'll figure that out. At least I don't have to do the farming and pickpocketing of the master farmer. Okay so 10 chests done today. This one is going to be my 70th chest total on the account. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what I get. 
Nothing. When I was planning everything out for this account before I started this series, the one thing I was really worried about was getting this amulet because it can definitely take a good while, especially since I don't have any good gear or pet perks or anything like that. I'm just using the base items that I have at the moment. And that means I'm only able to get a few kills an hour, like 10 chests, I think it was like 10 or 12. So even with me spending like another six or seven hours today, just doing barrows, it's still not very likely that I do get the amulet. If I was on my main account and I had all the best pet perks, and all the best equipment and stuff like that I'd be able to get like 30 chests done an hour I just zoom straight through everything and one shot these guys but yeah that's not really the case with this account of course because it's still brand new but I mean as long as I get lucky I can get the amulet pretty quickly but if I get unlucky then it could definitely be a few episodes where I'm just stuck here grinding forever hopefully that doesn't happen though again I'm gonna be doing another five or six hours of this so I mean I I'm assuming that I will get the amulet at some point but there is just the risk of going extremely dry and just being stuck here forever it feels like so that's something I'm not really looking forward to this person just got a blood necklace from the enemies at 16,000 KC they do not do anything else but sit there all day good lord 16,000 kills that is insane so I think this is the way it works when it comes to the amulet drop it is a 1 in 200 drop but I do have my fortunate brother perk that gives me three barrows pieces every single chest and that should apply to the amulet as well because it just gives you an extra roll I mean is considered a barrow's item so i think it's like a 1 in 66 so technically i am dry right now if we're thinking about it that way i did talk about this in a recent episode i'm not sure if it works that way for just the barrow's armor or also the amulet so it's either like a 1 in 66 drop right now or a 1 in 200 drop and i mean i've spent an episode and a half doing this and i'm only just barely at 70 kc so i really do hope that the fortunate brother takes into account the amulet as well and not just the gear because otherwise like i said earlier today i'm just gonna be stuck here for forever but i'm almost positive that it does have an influence on the amulet drop as well i think it does so we can probably expect a drop today unless i go super 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 dry oh wow well this is completely unexpected but apparently an event just went live where barrows always drops an item now i don't know if that gives me an extra item on my fortunate brothers perk it could either help me out a lot and give me an extra drop each time i go through or maybe it just works if you don't have the fortunate brother perk i don't know i haven't looked at any of the details it just so happened that pop up at this time i guess we're gonna find out right now anyways because i'm about to loot a chest but this is a superior brother so it should give me an extra item already plus my three that i'm guaranteed so i should get four items and if this event is giving me an extra item every drop then i should get five items but if it's just giving you one if you don't have the fortunate brother perk then i should just see four. Oh, okay well actually i'm just completely wrong i thought when you killed a superior on here you got an extra item but it's just a guaranteed drop for a rare item and also the event isn't giving me an extra rare item Item either so unfortunately this event really doesn't apply to me or honestly too many other people that are grinding barrows because the fortunate brother perk is pretty easy to get i wish i would have been able to leech off of it a little bit more and get some extra items but it's okay all right this will be the 82nd kill i think or lootations of the chest at barrows because i forgot to show you 80 so 82 right here nothing dude i can't even lie the amulet of the damned is purple so whenever i get these uncut dragon stones for a half a second i think i get the amulet but then i'm just disappointed immediately when i realize it's something that i'm probably never going to use i did get a comment on my last episode of the hardcore iron man with someone asking if the barrows items are even really that good he said he knows that with the amulet of the damned they are a little bit better and with pet perks they can be decent as well but it seemed like they were kind of getting at the point that maybe bandos would just be a better option and even getting like a blowpipe might be a little bit of a better option as well it just seems a little bit weird to stick with barrows for most of the series and i've already touched on this quite a few times so i'm not going to sit here and ramble about it too much but the whole reason why i'm getting this barrows gear is because it's good enough to do any content with once you get rapid fire and your sharpshooter up it's going to be just as good as a blowpipe and even if it's not exactly the same thing it's still going to be very good so it's very reliable and solid gear sets and i also don't have to risk my account while going to bandos or zolra to try to get those drops i can get everything i need at barrows here so again that's why i'm doing it it's very solid it's it might not be as good as like a full bando set of course but it's it's almost just as good and i don't have to risk my account doing any sort of bossing that i don't have to do of course i will in order to get some ap and to do some slayer but i'm not going to go do random bossing tasks that are very risky that i don't really need to do i mean if you wanted to do something similar as well you could just do gold rift because that's just a standard slayer that you have to do you just have to buy a bunch of void sets and then upgrade it to gold rift but i've already done that on my main account so i kind of want to try something a little bit different and the second best option or i don't even know if it's the second best or the best or if it's just like kind of the same but yeah the other option i guess i'll call it is just doing barrows
This hardcore Iron Man is on a kill streak of 18 right now. What an absolute madman out there in the wilderness just taking care of business. And speaking of hardcore Iron Man, there goes TOL Hardcore Learner. They died with almost 2k total. I don't really think that was like an account that someone was trying to keep alive because they're just doing TOL with it, but whatever. And this will be the 91st chest because again, I forgot to show you the 90th chest. I'm trying to do every 10th, but apparently I'm just not really focused. So here we go. Amy of the Damned, no. Damn it. All right, so chest number 100 coming in here. I'm getting the amulet on this chest. I don't care what you say. Here we go. Damn it. <laughs> I keep saying the same thing every time, but I, I, I mean, what else is there to say? I've been here for hours. I haven't gotten shit. At least I did complete an achievement for doing 100 Barrow skills. So I'm going to get five free items right there and a couple of coin caskets. And I actually think it's time to get a little bit of fashion scape going on here. So let's go ahead and buy a magic skill cape really quick just for a few coins. And which one do we wear? Do we throw on the trimmed one or the regular one? Definitely the trimmed one. I think that one looks better by far. And this is actually also going to get me from a plus seven prayer bonus to a plus 11. So I mean, honestly, I could just go get like light or something and just bring that with me so I can have as much prayer as possible because the armor doesn't really matter at Barrows it's just keeping my prayer up that's the thing but I'm really not running out of prayer potions too often it's still taking a long time for those prayers to go down so I don't think that I have to do that I can kind of just stick with the gear I got right now but I mean look at me look at this fashion scape going on right now it's so beautiful I look like the best player in the game right now there's no question about it okay I did it I think this is what chest 101 oh no this was chest 100 oh Okay, I thought this was 101. Okay, so I've just been miscounting every single chest, it seems like. But finally, I got the Amulet of the Damned. It's about time. Also, shout out to everyone in the chat. I do appreciate that. Unfortunately, I don't have a donator rank and I can't yell out to you all. So uh, yeah, thanks. And yeah, it was chest 101. So the, the notification said 100. So I thought that was, uh, it, it was confusing. It, anyways, it was 101. Finally got that done. I can also claim these rewards here, which aren't very good rewards, to be honest. I don't need any more Barrows gear. And 5 mil cash is nice, but it's, you know, not great. But still, collection log completed. This is all the armor and stuff that I've gotten from it. And right there is even more Barrows keys that I don't need from completing achievements. I got, what, probably like 20 of these to open now. I don't need any of the gear, but I do have an exotic loot key, which could be very, very good. We're going to have to see how all these keys play out because there's a lot of things I have to open up right now. All right, we're starting off with the exotic loot key and we get two mil cash that definitely sucks damn it that could have been really good if i got an item and for all the barrows stuff it's just more barrows gear so i won't even show the rest of these keys opening for that because it's just kind of pointless i got a billion barrows pieces that i already have so not really necessary to have all these keys shown but yeah now that i have that amulet of the damned i can pretty much do any sort of combat that i want i can start doing bossing or slayer or whatever and not really have to worry too much about my gear being underpowered which it will definitely be until i start getting pet perks no matter what gear i have unless i get like torva and a side or whatever all of my gear is going to be pretty underwhelming even if i had bandos with the whip or whatever it's still not going to be that great until i start getting the pet perks which is why i'm now going to start doing some ap grinding i'm going to go through all of these weekly and daily tasks and just grind out as many as possible throughout the next week or two and start getting some pet perks like the sharpshooter perk or even fast hands just so i can get some extra damage and speed and accuracy with my combat styles and that's what's really going to make everything so great <laughs> but uh, yeah that's pretty much the plan. I'm just going to be doing random bossing and slayer tasks and doing mini games and the miscellaneous task just to get some AP on the account. The only thing is that I have to be very careful as to what task I'm doing because something that I would normally do is killing the necromancer 117 times. But since I'm going to be in the wilderness, I have a very high chance of being PK'd, especially since there are PKers running around specifically right at this time. But also something like killing corporal beast 130 times is going to be very risky because you could definitely die at corp at any time. I'm gonna have to stick to tasks that aren't as dangerous like killing Bork within 65 seconds 13 times but I don't think I can even do that so again I'm gonna have to be very picky with what I decide to do because there are certain things that are worth it and certain things that just aren't worth it when it comes to my hardcore status but something I can definitely do is 65 Cyclops kills in the Warriors Guild and also doing the fight caves 13 times because that's a safe death as well but yeah that's gonna be my thought process going into all of these tasks I'm just doing anything I can to get AP but I'm also not gonna be too stupid about it and a lot of these bosses also give you bonds as a reward for completing the collection log so if i can get those bonds redeem them turn them into credits and then buy achievement points with those credits that'll also be a pretty reliable way to get some extra ap okay well damn i don't even have the ranged level in order to use my carols right now so i gotta go get 70 ranged i can't believe i only have 60 right now like, good lord 
what have I been doing? Okay, so I'm gonna get these ranged levels really quickly, and then I think I'm probably gonna have to do some questing. I know I just said that I was gonna have to do a bunch of AP grinding, but in order for me to do those bosses, I need soul split on a lot of them. So I have to go through some questing, and I'm a little bit worried because I think it actually is the Ancient Curse quest where you do die on it. I think it's like the quest automatically kills you and sends you home, so I don't know if that's like a safe death. I would assume it was, but I remember like a month ago, I saw someone die to that, and they were a hardcore, and it took their stats. So I'm gonna have to ask some questions about that and try to figure out what's the actual like move in order to do that Like what should I do it? Should I not do it? I mean, obviously I'm gonna have to find a way to do it because I need soul split But I mean, I I'm, I'm a little worried about that not to mention the ancient curse has a boss fight in it And I think there's a quest that you have to do to get the ancient cursed unlocked and that has a boss fight as well So it's very risky especially at a low level So maybe I can actually do some AP grinding before I do that I just have to pick the bosses that don't require soul split or turmoil oil or any of that yeah so i think that's what i'm going to be doing for the ending of this video i will be doing some ap grinds but no like high level bossing or anything like that because again i do have quests that i have to prioritize first so i'll go to the warriors guild i'll get my cyclopses all killed and i'll get my dragon defender and i'll get some ranged levels as well because as you can see my max hit right now is 184 because i have 70 range so i'll get that up a little bit and the double hits will start coming in nicely and that'll be that Did you just see that? <laughs> That is a, just a, a little hint of what's going to be happening with this Torag set. Of course, it wasn't the most impressive thing, but double hits and very fast hits are going to be coming in with this set at later stages. And it's going to be a lot of damage as well because I'm going to really focus on getting my DPS and accuracy up with the Fighter's Fury perk. So the Torag set is definitely one of my most anticipated sets to see towards the end of this series. It is going to be so good, dude. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be good. Don't get it twisted. I'm not saying it's going to be better than Torva or Inquisitors or anything like that, but for what it's, you know, for what it is it's going to be really good and yes i am using my torags i said i was going to get my range level up but just for getting the uh, tokens i'm going to be using melee and then for the cyclopses i'll be using ranged I mean, surprisingly, I think the Torags is better than the Carols, even without any pet perks. I thought it was going to be completely opposite. Uh, it's just the Carols doesn't hit as hard. They both have the double hits, and they're coming in very consistently. And I know these are just Cyclopses here, so their defense isn't too great, but the Torags is definitely shredding through them a lot quicker than the Carols is, which is very surprising. Like I said, I thought it was going to be completely flipped, but... It, it, that's good. I'll take it. That's a good thing. And I'm getting a little bit lucky here as well because the weekly task that I was here for, which is like 65 or like 95 Cyclops kills in the Warriors Guild, was also a daily task. And they do overlap quite often. The daily task can overlap with the weekly task. So I did complete the daily task and I will be getting like two or three achievement points for that. And later on in this video, I will be completing the weekly task version of this task, which is kind of confusing, but you know what I'm saying. I will be getting even more AP from that. But yeah, with the Torags being much better than expected. I don't even think I want to go down the path of questing for a fighter's torso and, you know, going out to get a whip from the Abyssal Demons because the base whip with the fighter torso and some Barrow's plate legs, it, it, you're probably going to have the same DPS as the Torags that I have now. If I went also to the Kraken and made a tent whip, then that would probably be a little bit better early on. But as of right now, I don't think it's even going to be worth it because the Torags is much better early on than I expected. I thought it was going to hit zeros nonstop. I can't even lie. I thought it was going to be not very good until I got my accuracy and damage boost up with Fighter's Fury. So getting the Dragon Dagger here isn't really going to be a big deal because I don't think I'm going to need to use it very often. Uh, you know, maybe later on I could, but for right now, the Torag seems to be perfectly fine early on. So I'll just stay here until I get my weekly task finished and I will dip out after that and I won't even care about getting the Dragon Dagger. And I was about halfway to getting my Dragon Defender. I'm up to my Black Defender right now, but I did just complete the 65 Cyclops kills in the Warriors Guild, so again, that's where I'm going to call it. I don't think I really need the Dragon Defender right now. I have no use for it in the future, so I probably won't even get it. I mean, maybe if I get to the point where I have like a Rapier or something crazy like that way down the series, then I'll come back and get the Defender, of course, but for now, I don't even need it. And yeah, that's 10 achievement points I got just from doing that. It was very quick, only took like 10-15 minutes, and I also got my 13 loot keys that I get from it as well. So once I claim this, I will be up to how many 
achievement points, it will be 31 plus these extra achievements that I've gotten as well. And that's going to be another five. So 36 achievement points. I think I started today with eight. I think I think it was eight that I started with today. So a very productive day, almost 30 achievement points. And I also got the Amulet of the Damned. So uh, it's great all around. A fantastic episode for progression. Oh God. I also just completed a weekly task of opening 52 loot keys. So I have even more achievement points and loot keys coming onto the account in just a second. Oh my God, dude. I've completed a daily task as well of earning X amount of battle pass XP. So Jesus, I'm just getting everything for free right now. I'm not even trying. So a very good day when it comes to achievement points as well i got 150 free slayer points too right there with those keys and i'm up to 41 i completed another achievement so probably like 43 45 uh, that, that's crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I got a lot of really cool stuff done today and I'm excited for the future of this account because I got a lot of good plans and I think it's going to be very fun to get through this on a hardcore for the first time. If you did enjoy, then make sure to let me know by leaving a like. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on. That way you never miss out on any of my content. 